Well, this is David Hirsch with another word on the Lost Highway, and I want to greet every one of you here from uh, Lancaster, PA. I'm at Sight and Sound Theater, and as you know, I uh, bombed the ladies' retreat and came up uh, in the middle of their retreat because uh, there were some extra tickets. I'm glad they all welcomed me warmly. We had a wonderful time, but I want to talk to you a little bit about this production we just saw, Samson. Many of you know the biblical account, but I just want to remind you again, it expressed in there that Samson, no doubt in his life, made many, many mistakes. And uh, there was compromise, uh, there was error, there were mistakes. Uh, just, and, you know, to be practical, just blowing it over and over again. But amazingly enough, the Spirit of the Lord was upon him, the call of God was upon him. He cried out to God, and God used him mightily. And I just want to share with every one of you tonight that maybe you've made mistakes. Maybe you're camping out in one of those mistakes. And you know what? I want to share with you right now. If you've made a mistake, if you have fallen, don't set up a tent there. Don't pitch your tent in the ditch of a mistake or in the experience of a mistake. That's one of the biggest mistakes believers make. They fall, uh, something happens, a failure, whatever it may be, and they, and they, and they pitch a tent there. And all of a sudden, they're influenced by the voice of the enemy, uh, the guilt and condemnation and ridicule of their own flesh and emotions, and we don't need that. The grace of God calls us out of that. The power of the Holy Spirit is there to free us and break us from those chains. So if you've set up a tent in the ditch of a disappointment or a present failure, you know what? Don't even bother picking up the stakes. Just get out of that thing and move forward. God said that he will reach down with the right hand of his righteousness and he will lift you up. And just like the disciples did to the beggar at the beautiful gate, they reached down with their right hand, lifted him up. It said immediately his ankles received strength and he began leaping and shouting and praising God. And that's the encouragement that I want to give you. Wherever you may be right now, just like we saw with Samson, you can see the poster up there above the lion. Uh, the mistakes were unbelievable. Heavy mistakes, compromise, going against the word of God and the promises of God upon his life and, and covenant uh, a relationship that he had, breaking it. But God used him because he cried out. He realized his mistake. He cried out to God and the spirit of the Lord lifted him up and used him mightily to defeat the enemy. And God will do the very same thing in your life. The Bible says if we confess our sin, He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want you to take that for yourself. All unrighteousness. Don't bother pulling up the stakes in that tent. Just get out of that tent. Move forward. God has a fresh tent for you. Plenty of provision. All that you will need to move forward. And you can be sure He'll be with you every step of the way. May God bless you. Let the peace of God that passes all understanding Guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus, just as we see the lion shall lie down with the lamb. Listen, something great is coming. The promises of God are upon us. Jesus is building something wonderful for us. And for now, we've got a life to live. Let us live and move and have our being in him. Let's, be, let's desire his perfect will. Let's be led by his spirit. And let's experience the miraculous. Move forward in Jesus' name and feel the strength of God just invade your body and, and allow you to stand up in the reality of His grace and His goodness and the power of the resurrection. Well, this is David Hurst signing off with another word on the Lost Highway. And always remember, God's love never fails. God bless you, everyone.